What's going on guys? So different backdrop than you're probably used to. Got a bunch of random warehouses here. And you might be wondering, where the heck are you, JD? This is not your typical filming location. Well, this is a place that's gonna be familiar to a lot of folks who have followed my channel for the last several years, actually probably going back maybe three to five years, where I did a collaboration with the folks from Texas Pride Trailers. They are about six hours north of where I'm at. And, you know, we still talk a lot. I have three trailers from these guys. I have a dump trailer, I have a gooseneck trailer, and I have a really, really cool, super, super tough utility trailer. One thing that's really cool is that I kept in touch with them. We're actually good friends. I'm friends with the owner, and I get a phone call from them recently saying, you know what, we had a conversation about a year ago about a trailer that you thought would be a really cool concept, and we decided to build it for you. So if you don't mind taking a trip up to Madisonville, Texas, because uh, we got it all set up for you so you can take it back and we wanna see what you think of it. So we're gonna reveal this trailer today. I haven't seen it. It's behind this garage door and I'm sure it's prepped up looking really nice and shiny. So I am ready for whatever they built because I know what I talked to them about. I never thought it would actually become something that I would physically be able to see or be able to tow, but it is. And we're gonna reveal it today. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so you guys may remember Dominic. So he has a really cool job here. He's the creative director. Yeah. So what exactly do you do here, brother? Actually, we're in charge. Our department takes care of all the visual media, whether it's social media, how-to videos, all of our video media, everything pretty much having to do with media. We take care of it. We do everything in-house. That gives you an idea of how serious Texas Pride takes their product with regards to the way that we present it to the public. The reality here is I see a lot of Texas Pride trailers on the road now. You guys have grown in a huge way. That said, so about a year ago, I was talking to Devin, mm -hmm. who Devin is- Senior Vice President. Oh wow, Senior Vice President yeah, senior now. Vice so he, he got a promotion, I think, <laughs> since last time I talked to him. Yeah. We were just kind of talking about some ideas that I had going through my mind related to compact trailers. Mm -hmm. they, they all know that I do truck reviews. And they didn't know that I bought a, a half ton Denali, but they knew at the time that I did truck reviews and that that a big part of doing truck reviews is the towing aspect of it. And a big part of the towing aspect of it is being able to set up a trailer so you can do a lot of interesting towing scenarios like max towing or max payload on the tongue weight. And it's difficult to do that with certain types of trailers that can't handle aggregate or material in them where you can kind of move things around. So we talked about the perfect size and type of trailer for a half ton truck. Now the trailer you're gonna see, which is gonna be the first time I see it as well, is supposedly supposed to meet all of those criteria from a convenience perspective to a towability perspective to a weight and balance perspective. I kind of took it as a challenge once when you guys were talking about it and they decided, you know what, well, let's, let's build this and see if we can accomplish what JD was looking for. Yep, and literally I get a phone call like two weeks ago saying, hey, remember that trailer we talked about? Well, we're building it and I want you to come up here and see it when it's done. So this was my first availability. We drove up here, we're gonna take a look at it. All right, here we go. Not the blue one, the red one. I think everyone knows by now it's gonna be the red one. But that is a cool looking trailer. So this is the trailer, check this out. Wow, so I guess I gotta, I gotta explain to you what I'm looking at here because this is exactly what we talked about. It's like from concept to reality. Six by 10 by 13, six by 10 by 16. Six foot wide, 10 foot long, 16 inch sidewalls on it. Now, some folks are gonna be like, I've seen small dump trailers before. What's so special about this thing? Well, on our 10 foot dump trailers, they're usually, they're set at 7K GBWR. This one has a 10K GBWR. So because the trailer weighs 3,000 pounds, it's giving you a 7,000 pound payload. That's pretty dang awesome. Which means I'll be able to carry some heavier stuff in here. I could easily load my tractor in here and other things. But the key behind this, and some people are gonna say, don't you have a utility trailer from these folks? And it looks kind of similar. Yeah. Well, the difference between a utility trailer is you can't load things that, that have the potential of rolling off like rock, stone, sand, things like that, or large limbs or large logs. And now I have this new trailer, which you guys haven't even seen. It's a super, super, super tiny five by eight that oh, I purchased. Really? just so I could pull it around with a lawn tractor. Mm -hmm. 
This is not that trailer. This is not even in the same category as that trailer. As a matter of fact, this trailer weighs a thousand pounds more dry than the gross vehicle weight rating of that trailer. So again, let's go over the numbers. The trailer itself, as it sits, 3,000 pounds. This is how much it weighs. Just goes to show the amount of steel that goes into building some of these. Secondly, 7,000 pounds worth of cargo capacity. Means we can load quite a bit of weight back here. Three and a half tons, right? Third, this thing has a 10,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating, which for a six by 10 foot trailer is pretty crazy. Now, the part that was really important to me whenever we were discussing what ideally I would want something like this to be a year ago was I didn't want the sidewalls to go higher than my waist. That was the key. The dump trailer that we have has four foot sidewalls and they go up really tall. So if you wanna see inside of the actual trailer, you have to climb up on the side to look at what's going on. If you have a tractor or anything like that, anything I'm loading over it, I have to lift way up and dump over it. With this, it has 16 inch tall sidewalls. They've dropped the suspension down and I can go right up to the side and reach into it, no problem. I can actually reach all the way to the center of this trailer, no problem at all. That is the differentiation with this trailer. You got a total height of 36.5 inches. 36.5 inches total height. That is the magic sweet spot that I thought a trailer like this would really, really be great if it could hit. And again, the main gist here is the fact that I can walk right up to it. I can look right over the edge. I can see every single aspect of it without needing to climb up the side, which means when I'm using it with the tractor, when I'm pulling it with the tractor, if we're hauling big logs, if we're moving aggregate or anything like that around, I have the ability to literally see the entire load as it sits and still have the capacity to be able to handle this thing pretty much fully loaded. So that is really cool. I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna start pointing out some things that I see because I love what I'm looking at. Well, one of the other things too, uh, when you were coming over and you were looking over and you're just tapping on here, you also got 316 flooring in here. That's a 50% upgrade on the flooring that you got. The other thing too on these, something that you talked about when this was a concept trailer, was having your D-rings on the side. Yeah, mounted on the side. Mounted on the side as opposed to mounted on the bed of the trailer. Now, usually on our 10 foot trailers, they won't put D-rings, but you can get them put mm -hmm. on the bed. Yeah, this is just a great setup for moving equipment around, doing everything. Basically, this does everything that my utility trailer I have does and more. All right, I'm gonna walk around this thing real quick, go over some of the features and specifications of it, at least based on what I can visually see, because I know the folks here, I know what they do, and they do a lot of really cool things and I can spot a lot of them. First of all, I love the front adjustable coupler. This is super cool. It sits in a low position right now, which is really nice because I can move it wherever I need it for whatever truck I'm gonna be hauling this with. If I'm hauling it with the Denali, it's gonna have to sit kind of low. If I'm hauling it with my F450, we can move that up a little bit so the trailer can sit as level as possible without having to tinker with the hitch or I can even mess with the hitch too and just kind of keep this where it is. And we also upgraded the tongue material to five inches instead of four inches, which is what usually is on our 10 foot okay. trailer. So you got five, five inch tongue material on there. Oh, that's cool, man. I love how you diamond plated this area around this jack. So you typically don't put this style of jack on your no. trailers. You don't put round tube jacks. They put really, really heavy duty, beefy square tube jacks on. But I specifically requested a jack that I could remove if I wanted to, in case I want to replace it with like one of those super fast electric, you know, jacks that you see on some of my other trailers. But that is really cool. And I love the fact that they were able to do this. Plus it kind of moves out of the way. I might even be able to drop a tailgate because this can kind of go flat like that. And there's possibly some clearance that I can, uh, I can still have with the tailgate down. Toolbox. Before you open it, let's look on the top of your uh, toolbox. You got your solar panel sitting right on top. Yep, and this is gonna maintain the battery mm -hmm. that's inside of here. So, you know, most people with trailers like this, they're gonna keep them in the back of their property or they're gonna keep them next to their barn and your battery's gonna be dying unless you disconnect your battery. So they put a solar panel on here to maintain that battery whenever it's not hooked up to your vehicle. Let's take a look inside. You got a lot of cool stuff going on in here. You got the hydraulic pump assembly right here, which controls this. That is really nice. You got a Continental deep cycle battery. You got a charge controller right here. So you can plug this into a wall, 110 outlet, and you can maintain the battery if you have it next to a shop or something with a standard wall plug. You got your charging box right here, just so that you're able to check your power. Yep, so very much nice. charge you have left on there. Yep, oh wow. And we got a Pintle. We got a Pintle. Mm -hmm. So they got a pintle ring, which is cool because on my tractor, I use my pintle hitch more than anything. And it's gonna give me the ability to just hook right up to it and pull it around. That is really nice. And then, one more for the inside. 
inside of the toolbox is a wireless remote. Now, when after we get done going through this trailer and we work our way to the back, you're gonna see why it's really cool to have this wireless remote. Yep, so, just the visibility, yep, yeah. absolutely. But, but you're gonna see what's so cool about having this for this particular trailer. Yep, they have really, really nice wiring that goes through it, it's all sealed coming around. I love it. it's a lockable toolbox. And this is something I really like. I'm, I'm gonna mess up the finish here when I do this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. The fact is, their <laughs> toolbox is strong. You can walk on this thing. It's no problem at all supporting, supporting weight. And I hate to say this, there are some toolboxes that are so weak and flimsy, you'll damage them or dent them if you walk on them. And I love the fact that I can actually That's use that as a step. <laughs> That's a creative guy talking right there, yeah. He's like, somebody shine this up. Come on. All right, coming around, we have our C-channel frame. Boxed section over here. I love how this is boxed right here as well. We got our stake pockets right there. Also have our tarp system, so this is awesome. A lot of people may not know, if you plan on making trips to a landfill or a dump, you typically have to have everything tarped. Um, I think it's a law. If it's not, you can be fined for it. So having a tarping system is super important. I love the D-rings on the inside. I love the thicker steel down on the bottom as well. I love the corner steps that you put here. This is something I kind of wish my uh, my other dump trailer had. Okay, and we also upgraded the top rail to a, of a bed to a three by two heavy rectangular tubing. Heavy okay. Heavy rectangular tubing. So three inch by two inch. That is really nice. And you can always tell whenever you do something like that yeah, because that is strong. Yeah, typically on our 10 foot trailers, again, it's gonna be two by two square tubing top rail. Okay. So guys, one thing I want you to think about, if this was built like your traditional six foot by 10 foot trailer, it would probably weigh about 600 pounds less. And for this specific project, it weighs more because anytime you add more material, you add more weight. And they did add more material to make sure this was a super, super strong trailer, which is super cool. Again, I love the corner step right here. The ability for you to crawl right up into the trailer very, very easily is really nice. I apologize. Oh, you have this trailer though, you can pretty much just swing. Yeah, you can kind of just swing <laughs> over it or just stand on the fender flare right here and just hop off. Okay, we have leaf sprung suspension and you underslung them so you could get this even lower to the ground. You got 10 ply tires on here with, uh, with 5,200 pound axles on there. Also, we are totally overkill when it comes to axle capacity. Yeah, with those 5,200 pound drop axles, they're four inch drop axles, which on our 10 foot trailers, we typically don't do 5,200 pound axles. So that's really cool. And then also LED lights. I love how you box those and put them a little higher. That is really cool. Very clean looking as well. This is really, really nice. I'm assuming this is for license plate brackets. Yeah, and, and like all of our other, tra other trailers that you have, it's lifetime LED lighting. Very nice. Coming around to the back, let's open it up. All right. Check that out. And you got a spot for a couple ramps too. Mm -hmm. I don't think we spec the ramps into it, I no, believe. No, we didn't. Because I have the ramps. Yeah. So I don't use the ramps on my other trailer, but on this one, I'll just simply use the ramps whenever I need them. And it is designed to be able to support both of those aluminum ramps that I have. This is really cool. And this is also a spreader gate as well. I can actually see how it has the hinge up top right here on each side. So you can use this to spread. Now, the way this gate typically works is you have a T handle. Yeah, we used to have T bars yeah. sitting right here. But now we've actually gone away from T bars and you can take a look. Oh, I see what's about to happen here. It's an auto latching door. That is super slick, man. That is really cool. And then you just pull it out and close it up. That is awesome. I was kind of looking at this and like, what am I looking at? So this springs back automatically and locks them into place whenever you open yeah, it them. Springs back automatically and it's real quick. Boom. Into place when you're ready to close it up. So is this just for my trailer or is this like on all new dump this trailers? This is on all of, our, all of our dump trailers now. They've gone away from the T bars that they've had on here before in the past. Hey, that's evolution, brother. That is yeah. really awesome. And then again, like I was telling you, one of the cool things about having your wireless remote Going to take a look at that barn door spreader gate, that dual action barn door spreader gate. So you're going to pull your pin out here, that, pull that down. Put your chains in place to adjust how much you want it to spread. Yeah. And then this, this will rock. I think we're still locked somewhere. Okay, sorry oh, about that. It's okay, you got a center lock in place yeah, too. Got a center lock in place right there. All right, you know, now, cool. that's okay. awesome. Now, usually, though, when you, let's say you have gravel inside here and you're 
going down a road and you're graveling a road and you got your trailer lifted up and it's spreading at some point you're gonna have to make an adjustment to your to the height of your bed yeah as you start to lose gravel for sure you're well, gonna have to tilt it up more exactly so instead of having to get out of your truck coming over here stop and doing all that you just actually just sit inside your bed sit inside the bed of the truck and just continue yeah. adjusting as you're driving that is really cool. Continue adjusting your height without ever having to get out of your cab. Efficiency yep. saves you time. So as it continues, as it continues to spread, again, like I said, as you can continue to adjust the height of yeah, the trailer from, from inside, inside the cab, the cab or your yep. truck without having to get out, that's going to save you a lot of time, especially if you're on a big job. For sure. And then the same thing, you just bring it right back down again, you let gravity take over. You know, it's so interesting when you go to a landfill, you go to a dump and you have a hydraulic trailer versus the folks who don't have one, you're in and out in like five minutes. Whereas everyone else is like unloading and sliding everything off. The, the convenience of a hydraulic dump trailer is amazing. And you guys carry multiple different types at multiple different price points which well, is really nice yeah we do we go from from medium dump trailers to heavy duty dump trailers with dual wheels tandem setups triple setups yeah this is cool i love that you have the safety kickstand there as yeah. well in case you need to work under here you yeah, prop that up in case there's a hydraulic failure so you don't have to worry about it falling on you any videos whatsoever this is one of the things especially when we do a walk around it's the first thing one of the first things that we point out is having your safety bar up especially if you ever plan to be underneath your trailer. Yep. You know, and for whatever reason you need to be underneath there, you've got to have this up. In Texas Pride, we put this on all of our dump trailers. That's good. That is awesome. I love this three-stage hydraulic cylinder. So usually on our 10-foot dump trailers, you're going to have a hydraulic cylinder sits right inside here, and that's, gonna, that's what's going to raise your trailer. That's rated at 10,000 pounds, but you're a big fan of our telescopic cylinder. Oh, yeah. So that's what we went ahead and installed on this one. It's rated for 14,000 pounds. Now, usually that's going to be considered overkill for a 10-foot trailer. But, but you know what? I'm all about overkill. And I know that this wasn't needed. It actually adds a little bit of bulk out in front of the trailer and pushes this back a little bit. So the overall length of the trailer ends up getting a little longer than it might normally. But having that center single hydraulic cylinder is absolutely fine for these super small dump trailers. But you know me, I just love this end dump system. This is super, super nice. Yeah, when you go with that set, when you go with that 10,000 pound rated cylinder that we, the single cylinder, that is more than enough for our customers. Mm -hmm. We've never had a single complaint with that. But again, like I said, this was a concept trailer. So we went ahead and put on our telescopic cylinder that usually goes in our bigger medium dump trailers. Yep, yep. And he just said something. He said, this is a concept trailer. So there was no intent to make this a mass produced trailer. So th they actually told me that at the very beginning. They said, be very careful how you talk about this because we made this for you because you challenged us and we wanted to accept that challenge. But then they said, we don't plan on making this, but here's the irony behind this. If you guys start getting tons and tons of calls from people going, I want that exact same trailer because that's exactly what happened when you guys built me my first dump trailer. I said, they're not gonna build them like this. Then you guys built like 50 of them for yeah. people who, who called in and wanted them. So yeah. I have a feeling my gut tells me you may, get some calls you may get a few calls and people are gonna like i want that exact same trailer and uh it may be added to a, a skew i don't know <laughs> but who knows but yes this is a concept trailer they don't have any plans on mass producing this um as it stands when you watch this video is that awesome i mean who wouldn't yeah. want a trailer like this guys okay so all my fellow trailer addicts out there is this not something that just makes your your spidey senses kick in and go man i want that trailer that is cool on steroids is what it is yep and here's here's the aspect this is why this makes sense so for towing it with a half ton truck that's a big one for being able to manipulate where that weight is so we can practice different balancing situations another one to be able to see clearly over the side and to be able to reach into it huge one to be able to have an overkill situation, both from an axle as well as a lift perspective, great. To be able to have the solar charging capability, the charging capability, the adjustable front, also really cool. But also the fact that I can tow this around my property with my tractor, I can see all around it, and I can literally take it to where I wanna go, drop it off at the tractor, use the tractor to load it up with whatever material, anything I need to do, whether it's reclaim, whether it's you know caliche, whether it's asphalt, I can load this thing up however I want, hook back up to it and drag it where I need to go, and then dump it. But with the utility yeah. trailer, you can't do that. You have to carry it out, you have to shovel it out. But to be able to dump it out wherever I wanna take it is absolutely a big deal. 
And so. really, when you think about it, it, aside of it being a concept trailer, it was building the ultimate trailer for a half ton truck. Yeah. Yep. Right. Because usually, and we get the question a lot from customers asking us on social media, what size truck do I need to pull that trailer? What size truck do I need to pull that trailer? A lot of times you're having the same old, same old three quarter ton, three quarter ton on some of our trailers. Depending on how you have it loaded down, you can't pull in a half ton truck, but this was built for a half ton truck. Yep. This is really cool. See that you have the deck reinforced and spaced really well here. I think we did 16 inch centers on here, right? I don't think we needed to do 12 inch centers on this trailer at all. Um, and that is something that you typically have an option for. You can upgrade to like 12 inch centers on your, your cross beams, which again, for this trailer, it's just not needed. Um, and it would just add a lot more weight. So that's another thing to well, keep really in mind. I mean, we talked about the, the, the 5,200 pound axles when we were on the outside before we lifted it up, but you really got to get in there and take a good look at those axles. Yeah, these are Again, big boys. These are the tip, the, we typically don't put 5,200 pound axles on any of our trailers, but on this particular model, we did it. Very nice. Well, I can tell you, I absolutely love it. This, this really feeds my addiction and hopefully I'll take a break for a while, but you guys got to stop taking challenges from me. I mean, that's where it started. I didn't, I didn't specifically say I want to get this trailer. It was, let's talk about it. That would be a super cool trailer to have. And then a year later, I get a phone call from them saying, Hey, we did it. Things to build. And if you start something off as a conversation, chances are Texas Pride is going to take that conversation and turn it into a reality. Yep. And I've heard that from customers too. Yeah. You know, they, they call and they're like, can you do this? And you're like, yeah, we can do it. Yeah. We got you. We got you. And uh, here's the big key. Your trailers are super affordable. Now, I don't know what the build cost of this specific one is because, again, the way this one kind of came into creation is not the normal process of calling in saying, hey, I need to order a new trailer. Yeah. This was a concept, and they're doing this as part of a collaboration with me, which I absolutely love and Our appreciate. Our trailers are all super affordable, and we're constantly doing specials. We're constantly doing sales. Right now, we got our big, our big Super Bowl sale going on for everybody. Really? What's that sale look like? That's uh, We got a couple of uh, dump trailers on there, and we got a reaving roll-off system on there, an 18K reaving roll-off system with the GX390 Honda gas motor on it. I wish lowest I needed that. It's the lowest price gas lowest price roll-off gas powered system in the nation right now i don't know what a reaving system is that's the that's the the technology used to actually pull yeah, actually, a dump up actually, and put it down right it's actually a pulley system as opposed to using a winch is what okay what usually what you'll have on a roll-off system and it's the it's higher more premium yes. end versus okay yeah. so that that's all i need to know so yeah continue and on this particular package aside from it being a reaving roll-off system it also has a gas powered engine on it so and it's priced right under thirty six thousand dollars it's the lowest price reaving roll-off system gas powered system in the nation right now well, you can't really buy cool. a reaving roll-off system with a gas engine anywhere in the country for lower than texas price would price. that would that be more for like a contractor who maybe has a dump trailer business or a dump business where they leave containers out at sites and they use it to bring those containers up and move yeah, them around but because it's a 18 000, it's rated 18 000 pounds gbwr it is something that people have for personal use we actually dropped one off at a customer who was using it just on his property strictly for his property because mm -hmm. he was spending like 700 dollars a load because of all the debris that they were loading in there. And oh, we got a burden here. <laughs> Is that my friend Matt over at Demolition Ranch? That's your buddy Matt. Oh, yeah, that's that really cool. I'm gonna have to give him a call. He was, he was spending seven hundred dollars every single time he had a, he had to take a load off of his property, off of uh, what's what his name? Yeah, his ranch. Colorado ranch. Yeah, is what it's called. Yep. And um, and so he he didn't want to keep paying that seven hundred dollars every single time. So he bought an eighteen thousand pound uh, roll-off system. That's very cool. Yeah, very very nice. So yeah, so I'm super excited. This is an awesome trailer. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I absolutely love it. Every trailer they've built for me has held up remarkably well, especially in this baked on sun that we've had over this last summer. Uh, they just, they do really well. You know you can trust them. I don't have to worry about them failing. I don't have to worry about something breaking on them. And I've just been a big fan of Texas Pride trailers. They make phenomenal products. So I am super thankful. This was a collaboration. Well, I don't really want to know a collaboration. This is a surprise. And they're providing me this trailer. This is really, really cool. I, I, I just, I appreciate it so much. And I'm going to use the heck out of this thing because now I can tote with half ton trucks. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting the channel. And uh, I look forward to uh, seeing what our next challenge is going to be. Let's do it. All right, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment. Check out the folks over at TexasPrideTrailers.com. They have all sorts of different types of trailers, from small trailers all the way up to really, really, oh, I guess up to medium trailers, all the way up to huge trailers. So they're going to be able to take care of you if this is something you're looking for. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.